Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the perfect prediction we would have seen yesterday. It does require a little bit of a build. It's not too difficult and I am not actually going to build the gimmick now, but I will show you exactly how I did it. It's nice and easy. You are going to need some invisible elastic thread, some little magnets, a craft knife, some sellotape or some tape and a card box. Now you are going to need to open up the bottom of the card box. I'll tell you why in a minute. And you're going to make a gimmick which looks like this. So it will look like a card is hiding. You've got the box on a card, but as soon as you pick the box up, it will spring back and be held in place with a couple of magnets so it stays nice and square. So that is the gimmick. You can leave it there and as soon as you pick this up it will spring back. I mean you could even just knock the box over if you want and reveal the card underneath because you are going to have a card hiding underneath so you can just reveal it like that if you want and just quickly flash the bottom of the box showing it's a normal box and a couple of duplicate cards. Right, how you're going to build the gimmick is I want you to imagine this piece is the back because this is the front of the box I used to, to make this gimmick. So I want you to imagine this is the back and not the front. Where I've got the two little black dots, you're going to attach two little, oh, little magnets. And you can just take these magnets down with a bit of tape, a bit of sellotape. And then you can put that aside for a bit, but obviously you've got to cut this to match the size of a playing card. So you're going to stick two magnets there. You're then going to get any playing card. It does not matter what the face of this card is. You're not going to see the face and you're going to tape it on the side. So it stays in a good position on the back of this card. And like I say, you're going to need to open up the bottom of the box because then you're going to get a needle with your elastic invisible elastic thread i will leave a link in um the pinned comment there will be a link to this thread and a site where you can buy these magnets an ebay site so you're going to take your card down this little black dot here is where the needle's going to go through and if you push the needle all the way through it will pop out and then you can dump it out and catch it from this end because you need to put another little hole this end look, so you're going to have to go through the inside of the box. That's why you need this to be open so you can go through it. And what I did, I went through, under, out this way. I went back through, back through this and back through that same hole. So I wrapped the thread round twice just to give this a little bit more tension. I mean, I probably could have put a bit more tension on it. But like I say, that goes through, up, through and up. So it's done twice, then you tie it off. Once you've tied it off, you will have a card which is attached with elastic thread. Can you see the thread? You might be able to see it. Now the two magnets or so, this will fly back and stay in the right position. And it will pretty much, it will go straight back to it rather than go boo 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 boo, slowing down. And it pulls it tight towards the bottom of the box as well. So once you've got your thread through this card, you'll tie it off. You're then going to get this piece. Obviously you can pull this, pull this tape off and you're going to glue stick the back of this card. Now I would where the, where the, um, the elastic thread is going on this card, I would probably not put any glue down the center of this card because it will then stick to the thread that's going to be running through here and it will stop the stretchiness of it, if you know what I mean. So I wouldn't put any glue. I'll just go around all the outsides, leave the middle bit clear and then stick that over there. Uh, maybe put a deck of cards in here, place this down, put something heavy on it for a little while. And once you've done that, you will have a gimmick which looks like this. Now, because you've got that stuck over that card, you cannot see any elastic thread from this side. There's nothing showing. Inside, you will have the magnets. I don't know if you can see that, that bit of white 
sticky back paper that's covering up the two magnets which are inside here I did notice I needed a few cards in the box to act as a bit of weight because when I was doing this with an empty box the box just wanted to keep doing that falling over all the time so this probably isn't going to be a trick that you can do I mean you might be able to get away with doing this in the real world but it's going to be a bit, a bit tricky because you're going to have to start in this position unless you've got some good moist direction it'll be quite hard to get this five under here get this down without them noticing so you could always start the trick like this right how's the trick work you've got a regular packet of cards and you've got a five of hearts which is sitting on the bottom of the deck this will go aside and you've got your extra five of hearts which is going to be hiding under the box, just like that. Now, like I say, in the real world, if I look from this angle here, I can see that's two cards. So this might not work in the real world, but it works great on video. Let's move this out of the way. And a deck. Now I've got the five on the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is shuffle that five back to the top of the deck and now I'm going to say to the spectator, the only real way, the only fair way to pick a card is from the face. So I'm going to riffle down the side. You're going to call out stop whenever you like and we'll take a card. So you're going to riffle down. Now call out stop right here. You'll swing cut this top portion, flip the deck over, pull off what is the top card, place this down, take this card out, show. This card came out of somewhere out of the middle. But in reality, it was on the top. The untrained eye is never going to spot it. You can now show your card to be the Five of Arts. Now, the whole time this trick's been going on, I've had a card under the box. If the card under the box matches the five, that would be a good trick, right? Flash the bottom. And there you go. A five appears as if by magic. So you could either tip the box over, or you can simply pick the box up obviously if you're going to pick the box up you need to be wary of your angles so it's probably best for camera this way whoop, this way around so you don't actually get to see the back side of the box and a five appears your hand gives you quite a bit of cover from this side so once again guys you've got your reveal set up ready to go leave it here make sure it's all square not showing two cards you've got this card on the bottom which we're going to shuffle to the top um, right the only fair way is to do it from a face up deck so as I riffle down call out stop right here now to the untrained eye it looks like you've taken a card out in the middle we'll place that here look you could have had any of these what did you choose? You chose the five of hearts. Wouldn't it be mad if the card under the box was in fact the five of hearts? So that is a trick, guys. It's just a simple little gimmick. I saw this on the channel, the same channel that I saw the torn, warped and restored card trick. But this guy did it using a coffee mug. But I thought, why not use a pack of cards? So that's how it works, guys. A little bit of arts and crafts some super thin magnets, some invisible elastic thread, and just a little bit of your time. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the Gaff Academy, post notifications on, give, smash the like button, and we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. And it's Monday. Boo! Cheers, guys.